Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Let's say it together. Now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Now, it might be obvious, but this is not the only way that we know that we know him. Uh, primary way is our constant and daily interactions with him. I think that if we have nothing but uh, to check if we followed all the rules to see if we know him, then we don't have much of a relationship. And there's very little doubt in my mind, there's no doubt in my mind, frankly, that I have a relationship with God because I'm constantly talking to him and he's constantly speaking to me in various ways, both obvious and subtle. But I think this is more honestly saying, I'm in rebellion if I'm not following his commandments. I, I know who he is, but I'm not choosing to listen to him right now if I'm not following his commandments. This isn't about, am I saved? This is, am I choosing to be near him? Do I desire to be near him? You know, he speaks to us through his word, both the written word of the scripture and the obvious truth that's put in front of us on a day-to-day -day basis about what we're supposed to be doing, our moral decisions that confront us every day. And relationship is more than just following rules and it's more than just intellectual knowledge of someone's existence. It's a desire for us to be aligned with him, us to be walking side by side. If he's going in direction A and I'm going in direction B, then in this sense, I don't know him. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's got going for me because I've left him behind. He's not leaving me behind. He's going in his direction. And it is my responsibility to cling to his robes. He wants me to. He'll help me. But if I try to run away, he'll let me, unfortunately. Would this be a lot easier if he made us do the right thing? Yes, yes it would. But it wouldn't be love. It would be slavery. And he doesn't want slaves in that sense. He wants those who would willingly give their life back to him, the one who gave it to us in the first place. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for desiring relationship with us. Thank you for desiring for us to know you intimately, like you know us intimately, like you always have. Lord God, I ask for the spirit of love and friendship and fellowship which you extend to us to be something we receive gratefully, hungry for it, thirsty for relationship with you, for your word, for your command, for your next instruction, for the quiet time spent with you doing nothing at all. Lord, we just want to know you and to love you. Lord God, I ask for your blessing on this service, on pastor and on these people. May your word be alive in our hearts and on our lips and in the actions that we take in your world. May souls be saved by your power through our obedience. In your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone. See you next week.